If you are watching this video, it is because you actually watched a video called Miranda Kerr Inspired Look and Win Tickets to Mike Stud Texas Show. So, I have two questions for you. Number one, why did you watch the video entitled Miranda Kerr Inspired Look and Win Tickets to Mike Stud Texas Show? Two, what did you learn from watching Miranda Kerr Inspired Look and Win Tickets to Mike Stud Texas Show? What did you learn from that video? Another question I'd like to ask you is how much of that video did you actually watch? Did you watch the whole thing or did you watch just a certain part of it? Tell me in the comments below. Go ahead, pause the video and just leave your answers in the comments below. I can wait. Okay, now then, let me tell you what I learned. First of all, if you look at the YouTube username that this gal uses, it's Megan Hart's Makeup. We have no idea what her last name is. It was only when I went to her YouTube channel and did a little investigating that I found out she has an Instagram page and her real name is Megan Parker. Now she also has a YouTube channel entitled Megan Parker. So, that's her real name. Now, I was wondering how many of you people were actually curious as to what her real name is. And is anybody out there the slightest bit curious about her credentials in the line of being a makeup guru? You know, I looked through her channel and I didn't see a single video. And I, and I, I may have missed it. That's fine. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. If you happen to know which video she got onto and listed some of her credentials, go ahead and, and send me a personal message with the link down below. I'll be happy to watch it. But as far as I can tell, I didn't see a single video that lists her credentials from front to back. You know, if you're going to consult a makeup guru, maybe you'd like to have a few credentials to go along with it. You, know, you can always have a pretty face all you like. But don't you want a few credentials to go along with it? Maybe so, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, she starts off the video talking about this leather jacket that she owns. I wonder what kind of an occupation she has that gives her enough of an income to afford stuff, stuff like that. It would be interesting to find out. I mean, does she sell cosmetics for a living? Uh, does she work for a major retailer? And she doesn't have to go anything specific. Even I don't go into anything specific. I'm a, I am a freelance data processor and a photo specialist. That's really all you need to know. And that's about as generalized as, I, as the answer she would probably give to me. And that's fine. That's cool. I don't expect anything specific. Okay. But it would be interesting to find out how she makes that kind of an income. Anyway, after she talks about her leather jacket, she t then talks about this uh, friend of hers that happens to be a rap singer. Well, that's fine. But when a person comes to your channel and is wanting some makeup tips, it's okay to go ahead and mention the contest and, and this friend of yours. Go ahead, fine, that's great. But put that at the end of your video with a little statement at the beginning saying, look, at the end of this video, we're going to talk about a contest. We're going to talk about my friend. That's fine. That's cool. I like that. But don't talk about your friend in the contest first, then talk about the makeup tips. Leave that for later. That's, that's what I think anyway. But anyway, she talks about a young lady by the name of Miranda May Kerr. How many of you people know exactly who Miranda May Kerr is? Go ahead, leave a comment down here below. I'd love to know. For those of you who do not know who Miranda May Kerr is, and I didn't know until after I did some investigation, uh, this is an Australian model. She started her modeling career at 13 years old, and she models for Victoria's Secret, which is interesting because she is the first Australian model that works for Victoria's Secret. So the key is, why did Victoria's Secret 
actually hire her to do modeling? That would be an interesting thing to find out. Another thing you probably ought to know is that Miranda May Kerr um, features a line of cosmetics from Cora Organics. How many of you people know anything about Cora Organics? Do you know uh, where their company headquarters is? Do you know who founded Cora or, uh, Organics? Do you know how much money they made this last year? What was their gross income? What was their net income? Do you know any of this? It would be, fi it would be fun to find out. Okay, now, this Miranda May Kerr also read a, wrote a book called Treasure Yourself. Now, I personally have never read this book, but if any of you people have a used copy of that book and you want to send it to me to have me read it and to give a review on it, I would be thrilled to do so. Just contact me. I'll send you information on how to send the book to me, and I'll be happy to read it and review it right here on YouTube for you thrilled to do that. I am a speed reader and a memory expert, so it would be no trouble for me to review that book. I'd be interested to see what she has to say. Anyway, Miranda May Kerr is also married to an actor named Orlando Bloom. Now, I know a lot of people know who Orlando Bloom is. And for those who do not know, he played a major role in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Specifically, he played the role of Will Turner. No, he didn't play Captain Jack Sparrow. He played Will Turner. But that's still a major role. Okay. But is any of this information included in the video that I just watched? No, it isn't. But anyway, let's go on here. Then she talks about this giveaway. That, uh, now we're going back to uh, Megan Parker. She talks about this giveaway. And she talks about a guy named John Willie. I actually went to his channel. And I watched his video. I watched his rap video. Uh, I'm not going to enter the contest. Although, it would be interesting if John Willie were to contact me. Because if he really likes what I have to say about him, um, I would be thrilled for him to come to Illinois and take a look at some wayside markers that I've been videotaping for a long time. But that's up to him. He can do what he wants. Okay. I watched his video and I saw absolutely no information on the laptop he was using nor the musical equipment. What kind of equipment was that? I don't know. He never says. And he never even talks about the microphone he's using. You know, he could have sung the song, and right afterwards he could have talked about all this. He could have talked about how he produced the song. But he doesn't do that. And if you, if you listen to the lyrics really, really carefully, you find out that he was born in Houston, Texas. But that's the only way you're going to find out about this, because he never just says, I'm from Houston, Texas. He kind of puts that in the song, which is okay, that's fine, but, you know, it's hard, you know, you, you, you sit there and you're listening to the song and thinking about, anyway. Um, here's an interesting question for him. What kind of weather was occurring when he was born? Was it a sunny day, a cold day, a warm day? He never mentions. Alright, now actually listen to the lyrics. He talks about money and fame. And then he talks about himself playing ball. Uh, what's that? Baseball, basketball, football. He never really says in the song. It would be interesting to find out, though. And then he talks about his musical career. Uh, he doesn't go very in-depth with it, though. And I know with rap lyrics, you can't really go that in-depth. But maybe he could do a video where he talks about his career, how he got started in the, in the music field, and and what kind of things inspired him to do this, so as what kind of daily experiences he has. That would be interesting to find out. Okay. Now, we find out he lives in Texas. Uh, we find out that he's on the road all the time. I'm sure that's pretty rough on him. Um, he apologizes for smoking and drinking. Now, this becomes very interesting when you consider the next set of details I'm going to talk about. Um, 
He also talks about Max had got his credit card. Hmm. And then he has what I would consider the audacity to tell everybody that he's going to turn 21 on September 27th. Now you say, well, what's the problem about turning 21 on September 27th? What's the problem with that? Well, mentioning something like that not only makes you susceptible to identity thieves, but also, if we really come to think of it, if we think about the lyrics that he's just saying, well, here's my thought on the thing. In a way, he pretty much confessed that he broke the law. After all, here he is drinking massively, and he's not even 21 yet. Shoot, lawyers would eat that up. I wouldn't go as far as to mention that. The smoking, he'd probably get away with, but the drinking, eh. I mean, that, maybe it's just me, but that's the way I'm thinking, like, I wouldn't exactly tell everybody that I wasn't quite 21 yet, and I'm already drinking. That, yeah, it's like, well, I just confess to a crime. That, yeah. But it's just, it's just the thought. Anyway, I think it's cool he's having a contest. I think it's cool that Megan Parker's having a contest, so on and so forth. It, that that part's cool. So, anyway, he, he doesn't seem to be like a bad guy or anything, but like I said, I, I just kind of wonder what he was thinking when he included those lyrics in that song. Anyway. Alright, now... Uh, Megan Parker mentions that she went to the Video Music Awards. I wonder what she thought of Miley Cyrus's performance. That would be interesting to find out. All right. Uh, now I know nothing about Mike Stud. That would be interesting. All right. Now the thing is that she was talking about the eyeshadow she was using, the brushes, uh, the eyeliner, the mascara, the blush, and the lip gloss. She talked about all of this stuff. She doesn't mention who makes any of this stuff or how much this stuff cost her or how long it takes her to apply all this stuff on her face. You know, in some industries, time is money. And she never exactly says, okay, it's going to take this amount of time to apply this amount of makeup on your face. That would be interesting to find out. And then she talks about Aussie volumizing mousse. Do any of you people know how much that stuff is? How much is in that bottle? How much of that stuff you're going to have to use on your hair? More importantly, how much time you're going to spend putting that stuff in your hair? She didn't mention any of this in her video. Then she talks about her curling iron, which she mentions is a one-inch curling iron. That's fine. But she doesn't mention how many watts of power this thing takes. Because remember, that, that goes on your fuel bill. If you're spending that much money on your fuel bill, you're not going to have enough money for those cosmetics or for those fine, fancy clothes. I can tell you that. Not unless you're filthy rich. But she kind of fails to mention that. So... In essence, with her video, it comes down to there are so many things that we don't know that's more interesting than the stuff that we actually do know. I think there was a lot of stuff she failed to mention in that video, which I would have found a lot more fascinating than what she actually did mention. But again, that's, a, that, that's just my personal view. You're more than welcome to disagree with me you want. But anyway, the reason I bring all this up is that when I read through the comments, and I'm going to read a lot of these comments to you today because that, that's primarily the reason I sent this to you. I noticed that not one single person asked any of the questions that I just presented here in this video. Nobody asked about uh, Miranda Kerr. Nobody asked about Megan Parker or uh, Mike Studd or John Willie. They didn't ask any of those questions. Sure, they didn't even ask about Orlando Bloom. None of this was ever asked. Now you say, well, what's the big deal about that? Well, the thing is that employers actually read comments from YouTube. 
They'll read your tweets. They'll read your Facebook. So on and so. As a matter of fact, some employers are so bold as to require you to give your username and your password to all your social media to them so they can read all this stuff. And based upon what they read, that determines whether they want to hire you or not, or even keep you around once they do hire you. Oh yes. If you're a poor proofreader, or you can't spell, or you have troubles with analytical thinking, or if you use expletives on a regular basis, those could be grounds for not hiring you or not keeping you in employment. That's a fact. So, knowing that piece of information, you can pretty much imagine why it is important to have very definitive, very uh, interrogatory, I, mean, I, I could go into a thousand descriptions, but basically what I'm trying to get down to is you want to have a well-informed, well-questioned comment when you make a comment on a YouTube video. Because the more formal your comment sounds, the more interrogatory your comment sounds, so on and so forth, the more likely employers will hire you for gainful employment. The reason I say that is that when employers think you're smart, then they think, well, if we have to train them on a particular piece of equipment, it's not going to take us very long to do so because these people are smart and we can communicate very effectively and very quickly. And that saves us thousands of dollars. See what I mean? So displaying your smarts in places like YouTube is going to increase or augment your chances of being hired, especially when you're talking about a high paying job, something that pays $25, $30 an hour. Those kind of employers like to see this kind of intelligence. So, having said all of this, I'm going to go ahead and read these comments to you. And based on what I see, I'm going to say whether it's a good comment or a bad one. Unless, uh, basically what I'm saying to you is, if it's a good comment, it's most likely going to get you closer to being employed. If it's a bad comment, it's going to keep you from being employed. And yes, I, I see some good comments in here. So, they're not all bad. Alright, we have Brianna LeBlonde. That's an interesting username. Do an apartment tour. Well, this is a good comment, except why do you want her to do an apartment tour? Okay, uh, is there something specific you're looking for that you would like to see in her apartment? Feel free to specify that. Say, hey, this is what I'd like to see in your apartment. Do you have something like this in your apartment? It also gives Megan Parker some good feedback. Marie, Marila M says, what makeup palette do you use? A very good comment. I like this. Um, now, when you're asking about makeup palette, are you talking about for the person's lips? Are you talking about for the person's eyes? Are you talking about for the skin? Never quite specified, but not a bad comment. Miranda De La Rosa. Good username. To the people say the makeup looks bad, is overwhelming, or looks bad, uh, you've repeated yourself, it's a recreation. It's not her everyday look. An interesting comment, not exactly grammatically correct, uh, but a good point nonetheless. So this is not a bad comment. Bruno's Hooligan says, the eyeshadow is spread so far out it looks scary. Your hair looks nice, though. This is a good comment. H. Brecker says, or at least have a skip to here for just the tutorial. I agree. Uh, not a good grammatically formatted thing. 
keep in mind that when you're dealing with something like YouTube, if you've got a smartphone and you're trying to reply that way, they do have proofreading apps that you can throw your comments into before you send them out. And it will make your comments look just that much better. It's worth the effort, I'm telling you. Dizzy All Around 96 says, Beautiful recreation, Megan. Well, what part of the recreation was beautiful? Was it the hair? Was it the eyes? Was it the lips? Was it the skin area, you know, the, the cheeks? What, what was it that was beautiful? You never really specify. I love you 101 100. Uh, says she's beautiful. Well, what part about her is beautiful? Is it her eyes? Is it her mouth? Is it her hair? Is it all three? You can say, hey, your eyes, your mouth, your hair, your, even your cheekbones, they're beautiful. That would be a little more specific. Okay. Plutie Muppy says, OMG, your eyes in this video is so my dream eyes. Well, that's not exactly grammatically correct, but it is very specific, so that, that's a good comment. Elizabeth says, personally, I like this look. What about this look do you specifically like? Amy Martin writes, you're so pretty, and I love the eye makeup from Scotland. Okay, well, this this is a good comment because you're identifying where you're from. Um, you're specifically complimenting uh, a specific part of her makeup, which is good. Um, is it just her eyes that make her pretty, or is it her hair, or, you know, uh, maybe you could write some comments about every single part of her makeup. You know, your, your cheeks are like this, and your eyes are like this, and your hair is like this, and your lips are like this. That's a very detailed comment, but th this isn't too bad. Uh, Jesse Bell 623 I don't really understand everyone's obsession here on YouTube with always critiquing how blended the eyeshadow is. Well, how blended is it? I like the look of harsher, edgier eye makeup. Well, that's very specific and really grammatically correct. I really loved it. One of my favorite looks that, you're, that you've done. This is a very good comment. I like this. Future Music Star CC7, where is the jacket from? This is a great comment right there. I like this. Okay. Uh, Mariana Blueshine, Megan, I mean this as a constructive criticism. I personally th think the makeup is overwhelming on your eyes and distracting from how pretty they are. If you didn't spread the shadow so much, I think it would be a lot more flattering. Just my opinion, of course. This is a very good comment. One Fashion Barbie, your eyes. What about her eyes? You don't specify anything about her eyes. This is not a good comment. No. Cherry Tomato 88. Yeah, I like your hair this way. Why do you like her hair this way? What is it about her hair that you specifically like? Gadisha. I always love your looks with nude or pale pink lipstick. Okay. I really think you look good with them better than with red or bright, bright colored lipstick. This is an almost perfect comment. The only thing is that the I must be capitalized. Otherwise, this is a good comment. Very good. Steph M. You need to blend your eyeshadow. Well, you don't, speci you don't specify in what way she needs to blend her eyeshadow. Be more specific. Lena01. Is that a Remington curling iron? Very good comment. I like this one. Beth Y. I really like your hair this way, to be honest. Well, I'm not one for text language, but... Okay, this isn't, that's not too bad of a comment. Okay. Arissa Bear. OMG, your eye color pops with that makeup. I love it. 
Well, that's a nice compliment. Uh, why do you think her, her eye color pops with that makeup? What, what's the relationship there? Can you be more specific? But not a bad comment. Little Miss 15X. Gorgeous. You pull off every look beautifully. Well, which looks do you think she pulls off better than others? You never specify. Haley Sisko, making, you have beautiful eyes. What is so beautiful about her eyes? You never say. Lindsay Burrow, your eyes are so, so gorgeous. Again, what about her eyes that make them so, so gorgeous? You never spe specify. User Mar 8474, LOL, OMG, Megan, that comment and your response made me laugh. What was it about that comment and your and her response that made you laugh? I think that person was trying to compliment you in a very weird way. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think he's saying you look beautiful, so... Okay. Uh, it's an awkward comment. Ha ha. Well, so is your comment, too. I would not use expletives. Because if you start using expletives, what's going to happen is employers are going to see that. They're going to say, well, if he's using expletives on the on the YouTube, he's probably going to use it on the sales floor, too. Or she, doesn't matter either one. He or she both, if they're using the expletives on the YouTube, there's a good chance they'll use it on the sales floor, which could be a detriment to the company. And employers don't like that. Failing chemist. Lovely for fall. Why do you think that her makeup is lovely for fall? Be more specific. Besides, that, that's just a kind of a phrase. It's not really even a whole sentence. Not grammatically correct at all. Lulu Surfin 92. You should wear your hair parted style like that more often. Pretty specific comment. I would capitalize the U, but other than that, not a bad comment at all. Destiny Cool says... Wait, you have a son? I don't remember her saying anything like that, but maybe she does. Hannah Gunn, so happy you made a makeup tutorial. Why are you happy that Megan Parker made a makeup tutorial? I've been missing tutorials from my favorite guru. Your hair looks really good. What about her hair that looks really good? You never say. C. Fran, thank you for zooming in on a. It, okay, thank you for zooming in a lot closer when doing your makeup. Much appreciated. Well, that tells me she's operating her camera a little bit better. She never even mentions what kind of a camera she's using in her videos. That would be interesting to know, and how much the camera costs. Carissa Reese. Hi, Megan. I love the jacket you have. Why do you like the jacket that Megan has? It, it's so edgy and I like the studs. Okay, I'll take that back. It's so edgy and I like, like the studs. That's a good comment. Also, happy 500th video, Megan. It's amazing how far you have gotten. This is a good comment. I didn't read it all the way through. I'm sorry. Now I have. Very good comment. Amanda... Abby X3. Wow, Megan, your eye color eyes in general are so beautiful. Okay. What about her eye color and her eyes that uh, you think are so beautiful? Jordan Nicole 66. By the way, Megan, you got me into Ron Pope. Who in the heck is Ron Pope? So thank you so much. I'm a huge fan now, and I appreciate respect that you always support smaller artists. Well, this is nice, except we don't know who Ron Pope is. Lovelier 08. That would be so cool. What would be so cool? You never say. Friends Vlogs. You should do YouTubers in general. I know it's really hard for female YouTubers in the comedy vlogging community like me to stand out. What's that got to do with her video? Just because she profiled one of them? Amanda Parker. Yes, Megan. Please do that. You would make me... You make so many people happy. 
wonder if this Amanda Parker is related to Megan Parker. Bragovation. Braga, Braga, wow, Megan. This is super messy and smudgy, but it looks so good. I love this look. I think I could actually recreate this. Ah, aha. Okay. Ellen Modglin. Why does every beauty guru say for the fall time? Why don't we just say for the fall? Well, I don't know. Rubber ducky for Eva Elf. She get the jacket from Forever 21. She got the jacket from Forever 21. You don't even capitalize Forever. Why doesn't anybody talk about Forever 21? Where's their company headquarters? Who invented the company? And what's their profit margin for this year? All pieces of information that I would find a lot more interesting than just saying it came from Forever 21. Shady Sadie 55. Great look, girly. Keep up the good work, and that's a kick jacket. Okay. Laura Hineo. I think it's so sweet how you mention your musician friends on your channel. Definitely helps them. Love how you do that instead of reviewing products and lying about them. Your hair looks super nice in this video. Okay. Whew. Ross Copico says... I'm not even going to say what Ross Copico says. That was nasty. Fiusa 04. I like the makeup. What did you like about the makeup? You never specify. Christina Kitty. Megan, your eyes look beautiful as always. What about her eyes that look so beautiful? Honestly, you don't even need eyeshadow to make them pop. What palette did you use? Natyuki12 writes, your eyes, beautiful. What about her eyes? What makes them beautiful? It's simply Sharon86. Love the makeup. What about the makeup that you actually love? Never specify. Vero D7799 writes, So stunning, girl. One of my fave makeup tutorial. What did you think it was so stunning? You never specify. Nicole Payne, your eyes, amazing. What about her eyes that were so amazing? Barbara Kang, it's absolutely gorgeous. What was absolutely gorgeous? You don't say. Stuper Coopers. This look is gorgeous. The makeup really makes your eye, eyes pop. Okay, what is it about the makeup that makes her eyes pop? You never specify. Kate C. Love your eye color, Megan. Okay, what about her eye color that you actually like? Forever New 1000. Hey, Megan, I'm not sure if you mentioned it, and sorry to ask if you did, but where did you get the studded jacket from? I love it. Well, that's a good comment. Melly Girl X22. What curling iron do you use? A very good comment right there. XX Smiles XX26. You did great, Megan. Love the look and the jacket. What did you like about the look? What did you like about the jacket? You never specified. Marge Love. Could you do a Kristen Stewart inspired makeup tutorial, please? I just love her makeup and I think you have the perfect face to do her makeup on. Okay? Like anybody knows who Kristen Stewart is, you might want to specify. Make a video about it. Good, good topic to cover. Life is cool. OMG. A Kristen Stewart makeup tutorial would be perfect. Why do you think so? No specification. Ursula Can. I absolutely love your videos. Keep up the amazing work. What do you like about our videos? You never specify. Lexi Hearts Beauty. This is gorgeous. I love it. What is gorgeous? What do you love? You never specify. Katie Smiles. Oh, Megan, reply to me. Yay. And that gets you excited? Let's see if Megan Parker makes a video as a video response to me. We'll, we'll see if that happens. Kira Tillery. This makeup looks beautiful on you, Megan. Why? Why does it look beautiful on her? 
never specify. Alicia James Scott, thanks for re replying to my comments. Well, that's nice. What would you recommend for a night out where you know there will be boys around? Edgy or girly? Good comment. Very good comment. So, anyway, I'm going to stop this right here. I've covered quite a bit. If I didn't cover your comment, you're more than welcome to let me know, and I'll be happy to talk about it. In the meantime, most of these comments were pretty good. Uh, sometimes I run into videos that the comments are terrible. They're really bad. But these are, these are pretty good comments for the most part. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. If you want to hear more from me, you're more than welcome to contact me at any time. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.